Got a metal roofing question here. It says uh, daylight and leaks with three inch pipes. What did they do wrong? Let's take a closer look. All right, here's what they're saying. Very interesting how the one showing more daylight isn't visibly leaking. Are there more preferred boots to be used or is this solely an installation issue? Now let's take a look at this. It's from this one. If we look at this picture here, can I zoom in? No, I'll have to zoom in. You can kind of see that this cut around that pipe, the rubber, is really not even. Uh, here's inside, you do see daylight. I'm gonna bet that's probably what we're looking at here. And here's the other one, some more daylight. And let's look at that one. See, these are ugly cuts around these. Let me, let's zoom in. Okay, now we're a little bit close. Whoa, dude, zoom me out. Wrong zoom. The, okay, let me get out of that picture so much. Hi. Okay, you can see how rough this cut is. So these boots are actually designed to be cut. They have little measurements and marks on them usually, and they're designed to be cut for the circumference of the pipe. This was poorly done. Now, it can be fixed without replacing the panel. In fact, what's interesting is I also see, typically you'll put these in, and then you put screws all the way around this flashing. I don't see any of the screws. I mean, maybe there's one or two there, but typically there's a lot of screws. So the good news is if there's no screws, you could probably pull this off. These come in different sizes. I would find maybe one that's a little bit bigger that will still accommodate the pipe size. That way you, it'll cover this area where you're gonna peel this off. So that way you don't see any of the leftover silicone and stuff like that. And what you do to apply those again, simply, Put it on, it has measurements around the rings, cut it nicely, use a pair of scissors if you need to. That's what I like to use is a good sharp pair of scissors or a very, very fresh blade. But if you're not used to cutting them, scissors are probably gonna be your best bet. Cut it down, you want it snug. Now, I like to do one step on these. It's not, they don't say you have to do it, but here's what I'm gonna show you really quick. Okay, play along that this is your pipe and this is, the new flashing, I know yours is gonna be rubber. I don't have one here to show you. So we're just gonna use this as an example. But what you do is once you get it cut to the size you want, you put it on this pipe, take a pencil or a marker, whatever you want, and around the top edge of your, the, where the rubber is on your flashing, draw a circle. Just, just draw a line all the way around this pipe, okay? Once it's removed, okay, once it's on there, remove the flashing. Now, what you're gonna do then is take your silicone gun, your caulking gun, and right above the line, I put a heavy bead of sealant, okay? And the reason is, is once that's on there, when you go to put this back on, it will actually grab the top of that and smear it down and seal on the inside. Then you can follow it up again with another bead around the outside so that metal is kind of sandwiched inside here. Smooth it out, make it look pretty if you want. You don't have to, but I think it looks better if you just take the time. Just get a little piece of a shingle or a little, little sliver of metal that you can like trowel around, make it look nice. I'm overthinking it. You don't have to go that crazy. That'll seal it off. Then again, what you're also gonna do is once that's down on the roof, you will have sealed underneath a ton of caulking, heavy goody sealant on the flashing. When it goes down on there, you're going to put screws all the way around it. A lot of them. And wherever you go to get the stuff, if you go back to the supplier that gave you your metal, they will have factory recommendations for how they want those installed and how many screws they want to put in it. And it will, it's going to seem like an obscene amount of screws. But that's what you want to do. And that will fix your problem. You're probably leaking because there's no screws holding it down and there's a gap somewhere and terrible, terrible cutting of the, the pipe. But it is not uh, something that can't be fixed easily. You shouldn't have to replace any panels. It's just gonna chew up a couple hours of your time running down the things you need and getting up there to pull it off of there and do it again. And frankly, I wouldn't call him back to do it again. So you can at your own risk. If they knew how to do it right, they would have done it right the first time. So it might be better for you to do it yourself. Happy roofing.